Hey you all, welcome to the channel, it's Rad from Radko Tarot and in this whole video we are going to look into your Sun, Moon and as well rising sign for the week 18th of January up until the 24th of January 2021 and uh, if you are interested in a personal reading you can go to my website which link you are going to find into the description down below there at the very front page you are going to see the full list of my services as well their prices and depending on your budget and uh, your needs you can purchase whatever service suits you best. Upon purchase within 24 hours I'm going to contact you via email so make sure you do check your spam and junk folder as well because sometimes the email provider likes to throw my messages in those folders. And also if you are interested in Tarot, you want to learn to read Tarot I'm offering as well tarot classes in case you want to check them out. Uh, they are under the tarot classes section. So with that being said, guys, um, I hope you do enjoy the show. All right, so this is to be Cancer, Sun, Moon and as well Rising uh, with general tarot reading. And just bear with me a second, guys, to shuffle the tarot cards. And uh, we are going to jump right into it. Right, so uh, the first one that Cancer starts with, that is going to be the Seven of uh, Swords. Uh, moving next, we do have uh, the uh, Magician, followed by uh, the Five of Cups. Uh, afterwards, we do have the Five of Swords. And the last one for you, Cancer, that will be the Devil. Ooh. Let's hold on a second here, guys. Okay, so Seven of Swords, we are starting the week for you with some kind of a uh, revelations, uh, that is uh, to uh, say the least. That is because at the start of the week, in, in some kind, not just only in some kind, but it's certain field of your life, may that be in term of career or in term of relationship or maybe for the entire life you're going to start realizing that should you not step for yourself, for your rights, okay, for your own personal rights, for your righteousness, uh, nobody else is going to. So at the start of this week, you're going to become quite more aggressive to the exterior influences. Your co-workers, uh, you know, even your friends as well, and in generally to those people and situations that are trying to point you apart. Instead, at the start of the week, you are to determine yourself that you are the one who is forging your own fate. You are the one who is forging your own path. And it's highly likely with such kind of a state from your behalf, Cancer, to sever certain cooperations as well, relationships also. And I'm not talking just only about intimate relationships, should you have any, uh, <clears throat> but friendships, you know, maybe uh, there could be a person in your family that it is holding you on a leash and you realize that that sh cannot go any further than that. So you kind of like seven, sever the relationship with that person. But here with the seven of uh, swords, at the start of the week, you are to reach the revelation that you, you are devoting your life to a certain extent, hopefully not the entirety of your life, to someone else's goal, to someone else's agenda, uh, and that needs to stop right there, right now. And, and for that, you are to storm those situations through very, very aggressively. Um, to some of you, now the realization that you may come up that you may come up with it is that you wake up on Monday morning, kind of like with that strong feeling that you are doing somebody else richer, and what you are doing at your job, you actually can transform into a private business and work for yourself instead of for someone else's agenda. Such kind of a revelation you are going to come up with at the start of the week and not just only come up with but as well you are going to take the necessary uh, measures and the necessary actions at that point 
to get what you have been owed from uh, those uh, those situations that are using you straight away or those people that are using you straight away and after that invest it into your own personal drive goal agenda and uh, right after that from the from the start to the middle of the week we do have the magician card and this is where your sovereignty builds up you know your liberty your personal standing starts to build up at this particular time frame it's highly likely that you are going to negotiate your way through like new contracts, you know, like getting along with a new people that are to replace the, those that you have severed relationship with. People that this time around are going to accept you for who you are. They're not going to try to um, tell you what to do and how to do it. And if you are not allowed, if you do not like doing it, you know, they are going to emotionally abuse you or emotionally manipulate you. Just on the contrary, instead of you being a follower from the previous week up until the start of this one, now you are going to start building up a following from people that are simply going to admire you and what you are capable of and in generally as a individual. With the magician, this is where uh, you those uh, resources that you are to restructure or rather like rearrange from using them to chase someone else's agenda toward chasing your own agenda, those resources are now, uh, how can I say, producing results. Because with the magician from the mid, to the uh, from the start to the middle of the week, you are going to um, do very determined actions in um, in direction of accomplishing your own personal goal. May that be career wise or a relationship wise. And another last thing here about the magician, it is that the results of those actions, very very determined actions are going to be indestructible or, or kind of like they nobody can take these things away from you that you are to accomplish from the middle of the from the start of the week up until the middle of the week a uh, very a favorable time as well for you to get to learn right in a sense of learning new skills or a, a new knowledge that will help you conquering your um how can i say your goal here and uh, right after that, at the middle of the week, we do have uh, the Five of Cups. And this card is associated with poignancy, right? I mean, it's, it's obviously looking at the card, how grim it is. You know, one may expect that bad things are going to happen. And yeah, you may face certain disappointments at that point. You know, certain things may not go your way. In generally, although I do believe that here we do have a change of a topic. Uh, in the sense of the the five of cups comes about of uh, and regards to the leftovers of the time before the seven of swords takes place. Like for example, you do realize that this uh, marriage you are in, it's not what you want for yourself, and you need a liberation. So you kind of like sever, and then your ex-wife or ex-husband or kind of like a current wife or a husband that are yet to be exes. They're coming up to you towards the middle of the week, trying to say, resuscitate, trying to um, emotionally manipulate, to, manipulate you in order to get back to them. So the Five of Cups at that point kind of like uh, points that you will have to deal and tackle with um, poignant stuff, all right? Problem, they're, they're not even problems, say, predicaments that are going to feel, that are going to make you feel that you are a losing time, you are losing kind of like productivity and capability and that they are serving like a mere destruction to what you are trying to build up with the revelation here at the start of the week, Cancer. And now important thing here to be acknowledged with the Five of Cups, it is that whatever the disappointments are that you are to face or whatever losses you are to experience, you know, or in generally whatever predicaments you are to face at the middle of the week, uh, you should not allow them to distract you from the path that you have chosen to take here at the start of the week. And instead, you need to keep up pushing into that direction, even more so, especially if those uh, disappointments are in regards to that path. The, the, here with the Five of Cups, 
whenever you face a difficulty, you gotta become even more eager to overcome that difficulty, more tenacious to reach the destination that you have set for yourself. And right after that, we do have the Five of Swords and that is the eagerness, the, destina the, um, the aggression and the determination that I just spoke for about the Five of uh, Cups. Five of Swords, the card that allows you to win literally anything you are after, the card that allows you to accomplish victory. Now, this could be, however, two types of victories. That could be a brilliant victory or it could be a bitter one. Now, the Five of Swords, it is the card that tells you you can get what you want, but are you willing to pay the price for at some, at some points or in certain situations, the price could be more than you know. In fact, the, not every time the, uh, the goal justifies the means, right? Or the end result justifies the means. So at that, at that specific time frame, from the mid up until the end of the week, it's very important to know how far your boundary stretches, how far your capabilities are stretching. Uh, because what I think is going to happen it is that you're going to have a chance to accomplish certain milestones in regards to your new agenda. Those milestones, though, can be accomplished further in time, at least be but because, you know, you want to get over with, get them over with, you may kind of happen to spend more than you actually could. Uh, if I have to give you an example here, say... I don't know, um, say your phone isn't working properly, but it is working enough for you to make phone calls, to check your social media, etc., etc., and you do have just as much money to buy either a new, a, a new phone or to invest them into something else that is to be uh, more productive in another field. So here you waste those money for a new phone, which is a price more than you should pay, and thus you sacrifice the other investment. So here, once again, you need to be very accurate and how can I say, in tune with how far your resources can, can get you to and uh, how far your capabilities and limits are uh, stretching out. Another thing about the Five of Swords here towards from the mid up until the end of the week, you have to be very careful whom you are sharing details with because this card could kind of like lead you to certain humiliations, like a secret you, you are to share with somebody that is going to expose it, a very intimate secret that you are to share with somebody, that this person may expose it into, uh, into the world. So you gotta be careful whom you are holding as a friend here at the uh, mid up until the end of the week. And at the end of the week for you, Cancer, we do have the Devil card, so uh, the end of the week is going to be phenomenal for you guys. With this card, it seems that you will be able to establish the circumstances you need in order to accomplish your goal. All of your investments worthwhile, but at the end of the week, not at the mid one, okay? So here, what I do think is gonna happen, it is that you may, um, how can I say, you may have two chances to buy the same thing or, or to do the same thing and the chance you're going to have at the middle of, uh, at the end of the week is going to be far better at the mid of the week because at the mid of the week you have to oblige with the circumstances the end of the week the circumstances are to oblige with you you are going to be the one who forges the circumstances at that point important thing to be said about the devil card is not to intoxicate yourself with the power given to you to um, establish your own criteria to forge your own situations and to forge your own circumstances because after that um, you know you are to be held accountable to the actions that you are taking and uh, in generally, at the end of the week, I will say it that way, whatever you say go, uh, goes and uh, you are to be able to satiate the hungers you have. Those hungers may be about money, may be about love, may be about health, but also you need to be mindful about um, how that impacts the others 
for this is something, like I said, you are to be held accountable about. So that being said, Cancer, uh, this was your weekly general tarot reading, guys. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do liked it. The way I see it here, uh, whatever you come up with as a, a goal, as a agenda, as a, um, uh, you know, uh, as an aim, fulcrum that you have to, that you want to follow, you definitely need to strive towards it, despite that those which are around you are not going to be agree with that. That is because first you are depriving them from your performance and from your involvement into their own agenda. And second, you can become far better than they are as they stand currently. So that being said, this was once again your tower reading. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and we shall see each other next time. Until then, bye.